Hello everyone, it is your resin 3D printing god, Akuma Mods, back again with our review of the Prusa CMYK coloring kit. Is this what you need to have in your resin arsenal? Let's take a look. So the fine folks over at Prusa sent us over their CMYK W. That means that this is a cyan, magenta, yellow, black, and white. But not only do they include one white, they include two white bottles of resin. Now what makes this different than most of the CMYK kits on the market is because, well, it does include the white as well, and it does include a whole slew of extra goodies here to get you started. Not only that, there is proper documentation on the Prusa website as well as some stuff that you can print out, which they've done for me here. Um, so it's kind of nice to have that because one of the things that I always struggled with with CMYK was trying to figure out exactly what I needed to have to make a specific color. With this, it basically runs it down piece by piece and tells you exactly what you need to know. And this specific part on here, it tells you exactly how you need to do your mixtures. And what's really, really cool is they do provide some of the information about coloring that you can base it off of. Now, you can also add in your own coloring system if you want. You can go and search on the internet and figure out how to make a specific color and base it off of this system. But essentially, we're, we're going to talk about how they break this down and what it kind of clicked in my mind. And I, I don't know why I never got it, but now I have. So on here, it says the Prusa slicer calculated 240 milliliters of resin needed for a model. So we have a model that takes 240 milliliters of resin, but I don't need this to be gray. I have gray. My life's been gray. It's been terrible. I need some color inside of this. So what we can do is we can actually take this mixed volume and create our own mixture in any color we basically want. And again, they do provide some basic ones that you can start off with, but you can use anything you want with the power of the internet. So moving along, we're gonna talk about the mixed volume should be 270 milliliters to keep the vat flooded. Now what that means is basically you can try and mix as much as you need for the model, but you always want to make sure that you have a little bit more just in case something is not adding up right and you have that little buffer flooding, as they call it. So I think that's a really, really good idea, and it's nice that they have that extra 30 milliliters. Personally, I always have a full vat regardless, but hey, if you're someone who is very penny pinching and wants to make sure that you have the exact amount that you need, this is what this is for. Um, so it's moving on to say, let's print the sky blue color, which is right here. Uh, sky blue means that we need uh, 35 cyan, five magenta, and 60 of the white. Now, that may sound ridiculous to you because thinking just in terms of mixing, and one of the reasons why I just never got it and it never clicked in my mind, is I'm thinking 35% of that needs to be cyan, 5% of that needs to be magenta, and 60% of that needs to be white. In a way, that is correct, but the way that I was trying to get it to work, it never really turned out the way that I wanted it to, until now. So I thank you guys over at Prusa for just clicking the light bulb in my head. Again, I don't know why I didn't get it until then, but you guys broke it down and it just, I got it. So anyway, so blue color, uh, it says cyan is 35%, magenta is 5%, and white is 60. Here's the equation for the used colors. So we have 270 milliliters, and unfortunately, this is where you're going to have to do some math. So you will have to get a calculator out and do some mathing, but it'll be worth it in the end. Trust me. I was already absolutely blown away with how this turned out 
the first time that I did it. So we're gonna take the cyan and we're gonna do 35, which is our cyan mixture, and times that by 270 milliliters, and then divide that by 100%, because we're using 100% uh, of the mixture. Um, and that's gonna equal 94.5 milliliters of resin. So very, very little of resin. The next one we're gonna do is magenta. Now this is obviously going to be less because we know that's already 5%. So we're going to do 5 times 270 divided by 100, and that's going to equal 13.5 milliliters. Very, very small amount. You just That splash of magenta is going to make a difference. Um, and then white is the biggest one we're going to bring in here. That's 60 by 270 divided by 100 equals 162 milliliters. So in total, we will have... Uh, 270 milliliters of resin in our system and that way it will allow us to combine these colors and get it all set up. Um, I'll show you guys here in a quick clip. I'm trying to do some separate stuff but here's a, a clip of how we're mixing up this exact sky blue color so you guys can see and get a little bit more inside info because I'm more of a visual learner so Hopefully this will let you guys know exactly what's going on. So, all right, so we're gonna be setting up the uh, sky blue color and with our mixtures. We have our uh, cyan, our magenta, and our white. We're gonna be using 162 milliliters out of this, 13 and a half milliliters out of this, and 94.5 milliliters, or 94 and a half. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this set up. Fifty milliliters of our resin for coloring. All right, so here's five. There's ten. Get exact measurements here. And there you go, there is a sky blue color for you. Just transfer this right into this bottle once you're done and now I know I have a sky blue color for any time that I need to mix anything. Super simple, super straightforward, all the guides are right there. So that's all you really need. Now we're gonna take another color. This one is custom that I had to do because I was making some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figurines and I wanted to get more close to the turtles that I know and love. That means the 90s cartoon. I wanted to try and get as close to that as I possibly can. So I decided to go ahead and go with their setting for petroleum green which is 75% of cyan, 15% of yellow, and 10% uh, of black. So we all just have to mix that in and get that all situated, and that will bring out the color that I need. So let's go ahead and set this up. All right, so with that all set up, we threw it onto the little tiny maker that we have. That's the miniature printer that I have running around here. And this is the result of it printing. I'd say that's pretty close to what we were looking for of the 90s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon. So this is a perfect, perfect example of what we can attain using this CMYK W kit. 
is you can essentially make any color you want on demand. This is an absolute game changer for anybody who is in the resin printing industry because if you don't have a resin color on demand, you can easily just make it right there. I mean, how many times can I think of when I'm filament printing, man, I really wish I had this color. Oh, well, now I need to go and order it, and then now it's going to take, you know, a day or two to get here at the very quickest, or I go and run to the store and take some time out of my day to go and do that. That means less print time. It's just a whole disaster, whereas all this, I already have all these colors. So as long as you have all this color system set up, you can go ahead and get this all situated for you and you can literally have any color you want on demand. I know I'm saying that and I'm drilling it into your guys head but this is the coolest thing about resin printing versus FDM printing is you can literally make any color you want right off the bat. Now on here you see there's no clear resins. Now that's something I'm going to talk about with Prusa um, to possibly introduce into this kit to maybe add another um, I guess, section to that ability to make your own colors because you can do that with clear colors as well. But again, this is more or less based on um, opaque colors. So these are solid colors, opaque, okay? Um, so uh, as of right now, that's, that's just what this review about, but we are going to talk with them about um, possibly adding some clear resins and maybe doing a, a coloring kit for that. Uh, or maybe even having an add-in for that. Or even if so, you can just buy a clear resin from them and you can automatically create your own coloring system with that and get it all situated. Um, because these might be a little bit different because they are meant for more opaque systems because these are opaque resins right off the bat. They're not clear resins. Uh, we're talking more like, uh, like a dye system when it comes to clear. But again, I'm going a little bit off track here, but I basically wanted to show you guys all the uh, cool stuff that they they come with on this uh, CMYKW kit. Um, again, this is the, uh, the syringes that they come with. They come with a large, a small, um, the pipettes. They do provide you with some gloves so you guys can handle this stuff properly in case you don't have any. Obviously, all the resins that you need to, and the coolest thing about all of it is they provide you with these little, what, I think they're maybe 250 milliliter bottles, I'm guessing right off the bat. Um, now they are a little bit dyed, so you still wanna try and keep these out of sunlight because I'm not exactly sure how UV resistant is. I haven't tested that out yet, um, but they should be pretty good. Um, these are like lab grade bottles, so they should be okay for UV stuff. Um, but anyway, Better be safe than sorry and, you know, either tape it up or just keep it out of direct sunlight. And that way you guys won't have a problem with it. But, um, yeah, it, that's some of the cool stuff that they provide with this entire kit. Now, currently the pricing on their website as I'm making this video is $144. I know it's a little bit of a nail biter, but this is a really, really cool kit to have. And most of the CMYK kits you're going to see that are out there on the market are very, very small, like little vial bottles. I mean, they're, they're even half the size of this syringe most of the time. And you can probably get, I don't know, maybe a hundred uh, uses out of them. Whereas this one, you could probably get like 10,000 uses out of them. And you can also do much, much larger batches in one go instead of sitting there, drop, 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 and, and just wasting time away trying to measure everything out properly. This is just, it makes it so much easier for, um, for the end user to, to get this quickly done and get their color that they need to right away. Again, you can use any website you want, but Prusa does have you know a setup on their website to get you specific colors that you need to. And uh, just to give you a, a quick starter for all that, but essentially, like I said, you can make out any color that you can think of as long as you have some sort of a CMYK spectrum in there. That is the most important thing that you need to learn about um, because it is slightly different than an RGB spectrum because you are using a color that's close to it, but it might not resemble something like that. So if you guys are searching for a spectrum system, 
make sure that it has the ability to uh, distinctify between a CMYK coloring system and an RGB system, which again, you should be uh, super easy to find on uh, just a Google search if you need to. If you guys are interested in getting this CMYK W kit, you can buy yours now on the Prusa website. Like I said, it is $144.95 as of making this video. And it includes all of this uh, goodies, I guess you could call it, to make your own custom resins. Now that does not include shipping, so make sure that you guys know that shipping is not included. So with that, that's pretty much all I got to say about this. If you guys got any questions, comments, concerns about the Prusa CMYK kit, please go ahead and leave them down below. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you can, go ahead and subscribe as well. The more subscribers we have for the channel, the better we can make better content. So I hope you guys can help me out in making our goal and possibly hitting 10,000 subscribers sometime this year. Till next time, guys. Happy printing.